Hey YouTube, it's Tony here from We Try Anything Channel, I Try Anything, so you don't have to. In today's video, we're going to take a look at another watch, but this time it is a watch from the Seconda range. As what is usual with the watches that we do show on this channel, we're going to take a look around the actual watch, talk about some of the materials that are made up of this watch, talk about some of the features of this watch, you know, like for example, if it's got any water resistance or anything like that, and then what we'll do is pop it on our wrist and say it's like to wear. So in terms of the actual... Um, look of the watch it is a dive style watch it's not an actual diver's watch as such um but it is more of a dive style watch and it is to me i say it's a real standout sporty looking watch now the actual case it has what is a satin metallic or i would say satin um, metal case outer to it which has got the actual lugs here which goes up to all the way up to the lugs and it is not quite nice i mean it is prone to some scratching uh, through daily wear so just be aware of that it does have a nice chrome crown to it as well which is just a slight chrome effect to the top um the actual bezel is a satin metal as well but it is a fixed bezel so it doesn't move so it's just there for more more for show just to add to that sporty aesthetic to it and it does have numbers what would be engraved on the actual bezel part now the actual back of it as well it does have what is a stainless steel back which mentions obviously it's got the um quartz japanese movement that this watch does sport and it is also water resistant up to 50 meters or what would be known as five bar now the actual size of this case this satin satin uh, this satin metal case it does measure in terms of diameter of just the case it does measure 44 millimeters in diameter um from the side of the case to the actual crown it is 46.5 talking of uh, from top to bottom or what would be known as lug to lug it is 51.7 um, the case thickness now this isn't a thick watch by any stretch of the imagination which uh, to me does aid to its kind of comfortable factor that this watch does have and I'll talk about that more when it's on my wrist and um, you are looking at a size of 10.5 millimeters from the actual case back to the top of the flat what would be a flat dial window now the lugs or the inner part of where the actual uh, lugs go you are looking at a size of 22 millimeters so obviously the strap is 22 millimeters in width now talking of the actual 22 millimeter strap it is a leather upper strap so the actual upper leather upper part of this strap is leather and it is it is a very nice chunky strap to have on this watch which just i think adds to the whole sportiness of this watch um it is leather uppers now the thing is this what uh, this leather strap it, it, it's weird in a way it looks brown in certain um, aspects of lighting but here it, it has got quite a black look to it and it is mentioned as black on the actual websites i've seen this watch featured but i don't know if it's the stark contrast between the white stitching and the coloration of the span but you know it is it is a bit of a strange one really um in normal light it does look more brown um but under here it does look black so you know it's one of them ones where it's it's just really up to how the viewer perceives the strap but here black in certain lights brain so just a strange one there but very nice good quality and um, this feels nice and smooth as well and obviously as I've mentioned you've got the um, you've got the uh, strap retainers going on here which is quite nice so near the buckle and stuff like that um, but yeah it does feel a quality strap really which adds to the whole look of this watch now talking of the look of this watch and this is the the thing that got me into purchasing this watch it's it's that dial that dial is just so just it's just stunning i really do like the look of this dial i mean it's in an absolute it's got a real nice blue hue to it in in certain lights as i've mentioned and i mean un unfortunately the camera and the lighting conditions that i've got for filming this video just doesn't show it off to its best um as it were aesthetic and in this aspect you have got some real nice contrasting uh, large hour markers or baguettes as some people call them and you've got the 12 and the 6 um, hour markers going on here or arabics as it were and it's just so just stand out in the way it looks and also what i like about it as well you've got some very nice thick you know you got quite a nice thick handset or you know what would be our and minute hands going on here and also a very nice sweeping second and well say sweeping you know sweeping in the way quartz movement moves but it is really nice in the way it looks now what i will say is uh, to some people who may have a little bit of ocd in how it lines up with the minute markers um 
it doesn't always hit center on the actual minute markers um as i'm just trying to see where yeah you can see sometimes it just doesn't hit dead center so if that is a that is a negative for you guys then obviously this might not be for the watch for you but for me I just think it does hit it most of the time but just for me that dial it's just so stand out and what I like about it as well is the illumination at night I mean the loom is on everything except for the little minute markers going around the actual diameter of the inner part of the bezel the 12 and all the hour markers and the hands it just lights up really well and I'm just trying to show you here how it looks now unfortunately I don't have ultraviolet light to really make it stand out but I can imagine in a, a day's worth of full sun you will get quite a, a nice viewing towards the evening but I don't think it'll probably last for that long but you know it's just nice that the I'm actually featuring a watch that has quite an amount of illumination at night to it and again it just adds to the whole look of this watch which I really do like um, and it's what made, as I say what made it stand out to me when I seen it uh, to buy now obviously covering this watch you've got a flat dial window and it does feel glass like in its um in its feeling or when i tap on it. it doesn't feel like an acrylic glass it does feel like glass and as you can see there's no real imperfections on this watch and you know this watch has um it's not been through the walls or anything but it, it's got a few odd scrapes and uh, as it scratches as such but there's nothing i can see on that dial really so i'm guessing it's going to be a kind of a glass really as opposed to acrylic or anything like that but please don't quote me on that now, as I say, it is a very sporty looking watch. Unfortunately, the bezel doesn't move, which I've mentioned earlier, but it doesn't matter really. It is just for uh, an effect really. And it does, I do feel that it does add to the whole look of how this watch feels. And it does have an, a very handy date complication. Now the date complication is at the three o'clock mark. And I, I just think, you know, it's not too overbearing. It's easy to read. Fonts, it's got it's nicely centered centered within the actual area for the date and it works really well it doesn't overpower the watch it's not in a funny position it's just easy to read but you know in my opinion i just think it looks stunning the operation of the um date and the minutes is quite easy and hours is quite easy to amend you just go backward there just to go up the actual through the date range or like towards towards yourself when you are turning the crown and that's by just pulling it out once and it is the 27th today so i just quickly get back to that which is easily done and the actual minute and hours hands are again very easy to amend you just pull it out one more time and you go so i'm recording this at 12 49 and I'll just get it right there 1249 and there you go it is easy to and also the actual second hand does stop so if you wanted to synchronize it with the seconds i've say like a something based on the internet you know if you wanted to be more precise with the time that you are synchronizing it with then you can do so it's very easy to do and i just push it in and then it just goes off again so other than that, I mean, I just think it's a really nice watch to show you from the Seconda range. And it is definitely one of my favorites that I have featured from Seconda. I mean, I have featured, I think, a, another one which was like more of a black and white, which had a, a like a three date uh, or three day dial to it. But this one here, it really does stand out for its sporty nature. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop it on my wrist and say what it's like to wear. Now, as you can see on the wrist, it, 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 it is quite a large-ish watch in terms of the actual lugs. And they do, the lugs do, you know, you have to forgive my uh, hairy wrist, as it were. But the, the lugs do, they, they, they stick a little bit proud on my wrist. So this might look better on someone who's got a slightly thicker wrist than what I've got. But I, I, I'll be honest with you, I really like it. I really do like the look of this watch. And I, be, I, I will wear this watch a fair amount or when I get the chance. And I just think this is a watch that it would look good in quite a few um situations and stuff so if you are going say for example out with your your friends or your other half or anything like that for a meal or for a night out then this watch is it's a it's a it would look very nice um with a lot of outfits for that occasion um in terms of just daily wear again another watch that would fit nice and it is it is cut even though the looks are slightly proud of Morris it is very comfortable to wear I mean it's nice and flat it is and it is aided by the fact that this watch isn't a chunky watch even though it does look chunky in terms of thickness this watch it isn't a thick watch at all and i think that adds to the whole flatness of this watch in, in the way that it wears on the wrist and i've got to say it's pro so easy to glean the time off if you are slightly short of sight like i am and you just want a watch that you can quickly look at the time this watch it's easy and it's it's got that 
ascetic in space as it were and also with the little date window going on there which doesn't obtrude you know doesn't obtrude in the rest of the dial I just think it's a watch that is definitely well worth considering and it, it does it look it looks really nice especially with the leather um strap going on here and plus you could probably change this strap for obviously with it being 22 millimeters you could probably change it for something you know like a how can I say a nylon strap or something like a NATO or anything like that that would really add to the sporty aesthetic of this watch and I'll be honest with you I'd probably wear this to say like a boardroom meeting or anything I mean obviously it's no Rolex or it's no like AP or anything like that but who cares it's I think it's a really nice watch and it's very affordable I think um I've seen it around the 40 45 pound mark and if you want to watch the you could wear daily has that date complication so you know what date of the month it is and you could wear it in a lot more situations than some of the other watches I've featured then I've got to say this might be the watch for you so I hope you like my review of the Seconda uh, that you can see featured here and if you did then click on the like button always helps the channel if you want to see more reviews coming from the We Try Anything channel then click on the subscription button below and um, one other thing to mention is that I've released a little bit of merch really and if you scroll down you can see um, just a little bit of tongue-in-cheek merch for the channel but other than that thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time goodbye